Hello Cardboard Lovers, it's Cardboard Badger here, I hope you're doing well, and today we are going to be opening up the most expensive single card, as far as I'm concerned, for this week's MTG Mail. Very excited indeed. Badge, I think it is time to bring on the MTG Mail. Oh yes. Now firstly, it is not foil. It is not. We would like it in foil, wouldn't we Badge? But I do not believe I will be doing that and spending the amount of money. But we do have the non-foil version. Now, if you would like to play a slight game as we open this up, I will tell you the price. If you would then like to write in the comments below what you think it is, Badger will be uh, very happy to go through the comments, wouldn't you, Badge? Excellent. So, with that being said, I will open this up and let you know that this cost... I believe uh, in the UK it is uh, advertised at £89, which is basically $110. So there is your clue, $110. What could we buy? One card, let us know. So we will now open this up. As we continue, not a good time for the camera to cut out on my most expensive booster opening thing ever. It's very well packaged. So like I was saying earlier, before the camera cut out, $110, what on earth have we bought? Right, well, it is severely contained. And now, we shall have a look. We will open this up and see what on earth we have got going on in here oh my gosh it is well contained I'm now going to open this the good thing is I like the fact that um, they have not done the sellotape thing they have done sellotape here and obviously not over the top which is a very 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 important thing to know when you are trading cards buying cards don't put sellotape over the top because you get sellotape along here which could affect, obviously, pulling the card from the sleeve. So here we go, people. I hope you have... Uh, it's very well uh, looked after, actually. I will have to uh, let them know. I'm not actually going to take it out, but we are going to have a look at it. Enjoy. I now am the proud owner of... Oh, <laughs> look at that. That is absolutely amazing. Uh, I did a video on this, I believe, last week on why I feel that this Liliana is absolutely stunning, why the artwork means so much to me. I'll put that in the link if you would like to check that out. Um, uh, the artist that did this um, has done so many, so many things uh, throughout my entire life that I've absolutely loved, grown up with and thoroughly enjoyed. So, uh, yes, Yoshitaka Romano, beautiful artwork, and this is now in the binder i can't believe it i am attempting to collect every single one that is the plan and obviously i have started with the very very best we also did manage to pull some in um uh, a recent five booster uh opening which we also did on the channel last week and we did really really well also so all i can say is this is the most expensive MTG mail card I have ever done. I am over the moon and other than that I would just like to say um, thank you for watching and let me know what you feel about this card because it is an absolute beast. I'm not even going to take it out of the pack. I'm going to leave it there. Um, yeah, links at the end for various other things regarding my search for uh, all of the alternative art Japanese planeswalkers from War of the Spark. And other than that, I'd just like to say thank you very much indeed for watching, and we will see you again soon here on Cardboard Badger.